hey guys and welcome back to another video if you're a new viewer please be sure to subscribe and turn your bells on so you get updated with all the videos that i upload <laughs> why is he looking at me like that anyways i am going to be sharing 10 things i wish i knew before getting my baby hunter now just disclaimer i am no way um you know putting out there that i regret getting him but there was certain things that i didn't think about and i wish i would have before you know making the commitment to um getting a puppy and you know everything that comes with it so come here papa <laughs> he definitely wants to play right now but i am going to be come come so yeah guys i'm gonna be sharing my top 10 things that i feel are informative to those who you know are thinking of getting a puppy or might be new puppy owners and just want some more information on what to look for and what to expect i thought it would be very helpful so i <laughs> I'm just putting it out there so that you guys are aware who are watching this. No! These are just things that I feel everybody that is wanting to get a pup should know and what to expect if you do decide to get a puppy, but I am only speaking from experience and um, what have I learned so far. So hopefully you guys enjoy it and it is informative to you. Let's get right into this video. First thing I wish I knew before getting a hunter. Don't mind him if you see him playing here. He is like on a roll today. But one thing for sure is that you need to be committed and you need to be attentive. Now, what I mean by that is new puppies are extremely needy, like extremely needy, and they require a lot of attention. Whether that be play time, training time, back rubs, massages all that stuff um, it requires your full undivided attention and commitment so you have to be prepared like you have to be prepared to be attentive to this new puppy at all times so that is first thing that is just what I want to get out there because I feel like that was probably the hardest thing for me because I am always doing stuff I am always out and it's very hard to attend to a dog it's kind of like a child like it's literally like a child new puppy owners i know take off a week from work because they want to make sure that their puppy is getting the right you know care and attention to be well trained um and disciplined so you know it definitely takes up your time i would say for at least the few couple months so that you definitely have to take into consideration for me it's a little hard because i'm always doing stuff like i'm always out and about so attending to him is a little struggle but i am learning to adjust and just to think to myself like okay it's just the first few months like once this will all benefit me in the long run because once he's fully trained it's not gonna be as hard as they grow it gets very easy so just keep that in mind okay so the next thing that i have written down was that you have to be consistent now this applies to every single thing when training a dog you have to be consistent with feeding you have to be consistent with the times that you feed the dog so for example if i set a time for 7 a.m 1 p.m and then 7 p.m i have to make sure that i am consistent with you know feeding him at that certain time so I read that that is just what's best for you know training your puppy to eat and also remember that when you are feeding your puppy make sure to leave it on the floor for i think 10 to 15 minutes and pick it up because then if they don't eat they'll know that that is the time that they have to eat so the next time you feed them they're gonna eat at that time and make sure that they get all the food in so that they won't be hungry throughout the day if that makes sense i don't know if i said that right but you get the point with taking walks once your puppy is fully vaccinated and ready to go out um, you definitely have to be consistent. Also, read that you have to take them out every two hours so that you can get them accustomed to, 
you know walking outside and using the restroom outside others do it differently i also heard that it depends on how old is your puppy so for example if your puppy is four months four months which hunter is four months you would then take him out every four hours but you do have to keep in mind whatever you decide that they might have accidents there's no guarantee that the first time you take them out they're gonna do you know great inside the house that is not guaranteed like they're most likely gonna have an accident but you know you have to just be aware that the bladder is not fully there so they can use the bathroom at any time of the day so just keep that in mind the third thing that I wish I knew before getting a puppy is you have to have patience now you have to have patience like it is a given you have to have it and that's just something if you don't have patience you have to start having patience now because it's not easy okay it's not easy and you have to be patient you have to be patient puppies are literally like newborns the only difference is that they're able to walk straight out the womb like they can literally start walking as soon as they get out so just keep in mind that it's gonna take time but just stick with it stick with everything that you're teaching your puppy just stick with it and just be patient and consistent remember it'll take a couple accidents for them to get fully potty trained but they're new puppies okay just that's just the truth of the matter they're new puppies they're gonna have plenty plenty of accidents but it's normal it's normal you just have to have everything on deck that's it but do not get upset do not get upset if they have an accident what you're gonna do is you're just going to guide them tell them no discipline them at that moment and guide them to where they have to go that is going to ensure that they know where they have to use the restroom and it's gonna take a few times we don't come out the womb knowing our alphabets we don't come out the womb knowing how to read and write and how to use the restroom so you just have to think of a new puppy as a newborn and just be patient be patient it's gonna take a few times it's gonna take several times but again you have to have patience that's the bottom line when teaching them how to do certain things like sit lay down um, paw stuff like that you have to be consistent do it daily play with them do it daily switch it up when they do the right thing reward them with a treat not always a treat but reward them with a toy um, at some point um, in time you know why you're training them just do different things to you know not make it so boring and um, you know not only make it boring for them but for you too you know you have to switch it up and just get them excited and get them you know thrilled to learn something new so the fourth thing that I wish I knew before getting a puppy is a really really big one be prepared to spend some coins a lot of coins okay um, having a puppy is extremely expensive like it's expensive um, and if you're not financially stable and financially ready to have a puppy then don't have one because they will take all your money even if it's not stuff that they need you'll go to the pet store and literally want to buy them everything because they have such cute things for puppies it definitely takes your money hunter alone was expensive so just imagine that's not all that's not all hunter wasn't just the only expensive thing um when having a puppy a new puppy you definitely have to take into consideration that you need to buy cleaning supplies you're gonna need a lot of cleaning supplies because when training them like I said their bladder is not up to par so you have to keep on deck a whole bunch of cleaning supplies if you have carpet you have to have carpet cleaner if you have hardwood floors you have to have hardwood floor cleaner you have to have all this stuff on hand because there's going to be accidents like there's no doubt about it like your dog is gonna have accidents um you just have to be prepared so 
financially you have to worry about cleaning supplies you have to worry about toys you have to worry about vaccinations you have to worry about um, medical bills insurance for your puppy which I recommend everybody to get like it is so worth it it's just good to have you know insurance on your puppy god forbid anything happens that's a monthly payment that you have to worry about you have to be financially ready to own a dog because if not you're gonna be broke like broke keep that in mind that is a big one and that is something that I think a lot of people don't um, really think about having a puppy is like I said I'm gonna keep repeating it it's literally like having a newborn financial situations you have to adjust okay you have to adjust if you definitely want this you have to adjust to the financial um, situation that you have going on that's it the fifth thing that I knew before getting a puppy this goes back to you know spending money on cleaning supplies you have to stock up on cleaning supplies so for me I'm always cleaning so I always have cleaning supplies in my room I always have fabric you know sprays and stuff like that so that is just something that I always have you know in my car in my room stuff like that so it's not as bad but it is <laughs> necessary you're gonna have to clean up in my room i have carpet which is the worst thing don't get a puppy if you have carpet it is so bad to take out pee from the floor it's just so bad your puppy will have accidents and if your puppy is not that fast with the potty training they'll have a lot so be ready to have the supplies with you at all times and just ready to clean and if you have carpet again double stack double stack because it's double cleaning okay you have to get in there it's double cleaning so just keep that in mind so the sixth thing that i wish i knew before getting a puppy was to be sure that you have somebody that you can count on to watch your dog when you're going away i tend to go out a lot and a lot of times i cannot bring hunter everywhere that i go for example some malls don't allow puppies uh, dogs some restaurants don't allow dogs so it's definitely a struggle knowing where and when can you take your puppy out now if you're the type that you know really can't depend on anybody and need to have your dog with you at all times if you don't have your own place then i would definitely recommend which i am gonna do i'm gonna make hunter an emotional support dog um, or service dog you can do either or but that is pretty much where you register your dog to be an emotional support dog or a service dog and they cannot tell you anything like nobody could tell you nothing you're gonna have a card you're gonna have an identification um, you know saying your I think it has your name it has um, the dog's name and then an ID number and that is going to ensure that you can go anywhere and wherever with your puppy so that i'm definitely looking into there's some times where i want to go to the mall and bring him and i just feel like i can't go because somebody in the store is gonna say oh dogs are not allowed here so just keep that in mind thankfully i do have family that is willing to you know take care of hunter but if you don't it's gonna be hard and that's just something that you have to think about the seventh thing that i wish i knew before getting a puppy was don't be afraid to ask your breeder or whoever you're getting your dog from questions i like to think every question is a good question so don't be afraid to ask it's definitely normal to ask questions like at the end of the day you're investing money into your dog so you want to know everything all the background information everything so you know don't be scared don't hesitate to ask questions it's so beneficial to you and your puppy so definitely keep that in mind especially if you're getting it from a breeder you want to know all the information all the goods and yeah. the eighth thing that I wish I knew and it kind of goes back to like being attentive you have to keep an eye on your puppy at all times 
so especially when training like potty training your puppies you have to keep an eye on if you see that they're not going to the right spot to use the restroom you have to be on top of them pick them up and literally walk them to where they have to go which is the pad that way they know okay this is not where you go you have to go to the pad there's gonna be times where you miss them which is a lot of times for me uh but when you can and when you see them you have to pick them up and correct them so that just falls back to you know the whole idea in you have to be attentive you have to be you know on them all the time not only because they are potty training but because they eat and they sniff everything so if you have sandals on the floor pick them up because they're most likely gonna eat your sandals instead of their toys they have a whole bunch of toys here and they just choose to go to your shoes and your sneakers so definitely keep everything up and you know hidden during the teething stages but yes and this also applies to when you're training them outside. Even though they're fully vaccinated, you do have to make sure that they are not eating, you know, stuff outside. They're not sniffing, you know, other dogs' poops and stuff like that. And, you know, sniffing, licking puddles. Um, I would just stay away from that if I can. Um, there's going to be times dogs are nasty. Some dogs are very nasty and they'll literally like lick poop. But just be aware of that when you're going outside and just make sure that they're, you know, if you can avoid them from choking on something or, you know, licking poop or, you know, doing all that nasty stuff, then definitely do that because you don't want no problem. You don't want to go to the vet and then have all these bills and stuff. So just be aware of everything that they're eating, that they're sniffing, that they're licking, and all that stuff. Number nine, and something that I wish I knew before getting a puppy, is that your sleep schedule is not gonna be the same. You're gonna have to adjust your sleeping schedule. The first few days was a little hard because we had both Hunter and Chloe in the crate. They were just crying later on i then went to my dad's house and hunter was pretty good i think the first two days he was crying but he adjusted very well to his crate and it became like a normal thing like he would know that i was going to sleep so he would just go in his crate and you know fall asleep but recently i've been staying in my mom's house and for some reason hunter has been wanting to sleep with me and it's kind of frustrating because I want him to know that there's only certain times where you can sleep with mommy. So, um, you know, he was crying and I feel so bad, but I'm trying to tell him and teach him that, no, you cannot sleep here. You sleep on your bed and you sleep in your crate and, you know, that's where your place is and, you know, you come here when I want you to come here. So it's been tough these last few days but he is adjusting to it slowly but surely also when i start training him outside he is going to kill me okay i am not gonna be sleeping um but i definitely want to make sure that i'm taking him out constantly throughout the night so that he doesn't use the bathroom in the house if you work from home it definitely benefits you because you're able to walk your dog at all times well more times than an average person that has to go into work yeah you know i might have to switch his eating schedule because i'm gonna be leaving way earlier than the time that he eats so you know it's definitely adjustments that i have to make but again everything is going to change and you just have to be prepared for it last but not least and the last thing that i want to leave you guys off with is to never give up and this applies to everything not just with your puppy but life in general never give up it's gonna be so hard things are gonna be so hard you're gonna have bumps along the road but you have to always look at the brighter picture and the outcome of everything and just know that the process is going to be worth it in the long run. So 
like i mentioned earlier it got extremely tough in the beginning it was almost like an overwhelming feeling when i was signing the papers to bring hunter home i can't really explain it but it was just an overwhelming feeling that i don't even think my sister felt but i definitely felt that um when signing off the papers to officially own hunter let me just say i love this little guy unconditionally like i love him so much he brings so much joy to me and brandon and my family in general um every time they see him they're like so happy they think he's the cutest little thing it's so worth it definitely something new i never had my own dog um my dad had once gifted us a dog but like me and my sister but i never ever owned my own dog so this is the first time and i'm definitely adjusting to a lot of things but like i said if you're planning to get a puppy it's so worth it just be prepared and just be mindful of everything that i mentioned that you have to take into consideration because it's something new I feel so much joy i no longer feel alone especially now that i am starting work you know it's gonna be hard i think i'm gonna be the one with separation anxiety because i just fell so in love with him like he is such a freaking cute puppy he's so good he already knows how to sit he knows how to lay down he knows paw like he is so smart and he is only four months so just know and just have hope that if you get a puppy um, everything will work out fine you just have to be consistent have to be patient and yeah he's making improvements every day and i'm so proud of him your love dedication and care is all they need and all they are looking for so just make sure to give that to them and just to love them unconditionally kind of spoil him but he's so worth it to me if you're thinking of getting a pup definitely do it just keep all this in mind like i said and you will be fine you will get through everything and yeah you're gonna have a well-trained and happy dog so get the puppy if you want it he's doing so good he's so smart and i love him so so much oh my gosh i love him look guys he got so big since the last video he got so big happy you're the cutest little thing i love you you're the cutest little thing look at you look at you baba look at you baby you're so cute you're so cute so yeah guys don't forget to follow him on his instagram hunter paw oh, i love you you're so cute I love you bye guys thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i am i think i hit 600 subscribers so i'm super excited um we're just on a road to a thousand so let's hit that mark by the end of this month it is the beginning of the month so i definitely have time and yeah guys definitely stay tuned for more videos i love you guys so much and i'll see you in my next video